Good morning. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> so, for those of you that are joining us to start, uh, I'm Pastor Hector. This is my son, Hector the Third, and back there is Daniel. And uh, I think I want to talk about them today. Last night at 12:37, uh, I had the blessing of becoming an uncle again. I think my brother and his wife had a baby and um, very excited about that uh, just recently my daughter had a child as well and uh, I want to talk about kids because a lot of times what happens to us in our life is uh, we feel so run down with everything that we have happening to us and we need to reframe how we do things the Bible says raise a child in, in the correct ways and when he grows up he would not depart from those ways and this can apply to a lot of things in your life this can apply to a lot of different areas but let me let me just give you your goal as a parent your goal as a parent is the same goal as when the mama eagle has baby eagles and they hatch in the nest her goal is not to become the best friend of those baby eagles. Her goal is not for her to have those little baby eagles surround her and take care of her in her old age. Her goal is to get those freshly hatched baby eagles to take care of them until they're strong enough. And then her goal is to get them to fly away. So here's what I want you to realize. What you are doing is trying to create an adult to make a friend and sometimes that causes challenges so I mean let's just take something for instance let's say that you're you're a soccer mom and you got to take your your child to soccer practice every afternoon and then there's games on the weekend you know so maybe you can put in your phone every afternoon take my kid to soccer practice parentheses again uh, or maybe you put on your phone, take my child to soccer practice, parentheses, create a man. Because maybe the reason you put him in soccer practice is you feel that a man should be athletic. And so that's part of your plan is to put him in soccer practice so he learns team cooperation, athleticism. You understand there's two different things, same activity. Now you see it differently because that's our goal. We think our goal is just to respond to whatever our kids need and so forth. We're trying to create, if they're, if they're women, we're trying to create adult women who can be self-sufficient. And, and if we have boys, our goal is to create men that are self-sufficient. So we need to rethink how we're raising our children and realize that that's exactly what we're trying to do. Raise them so that they grow up and so that they become productive adults. They're not there necessarily. It's, Maybe they'll take care of you in your old age, but how about worrying about that when you get there? It's nice to have them around, but they're not your friends. So that's sometimes because if you try to have, it's great that you get along with your kids and you should have fun and everything else. But if your primary goal is to be their friend, then the problem is it becomes really difficult to, to guide them in what they have to. And so sometimes, like let's say for instance, I think personally, one of the things that I think is most important that we make sure that we do is that our kids know what we believe and why. So when I was raising my daughter, I made sure that she read the Bible and she had to take notes and we talked about it. And sometimes she complained and said, you can't force your religion on me. And I'm like, I can until you leave the house. Because, and at that point, once you're a grown adult, you can make your own decision as to what God you want to serve and as to what you want to believe in. But I'm my job is to, is to help you understand why I believe what I do and while I have you in my custody, while I am the steward of your young life to show you why I believe what I believe and then you'll be free once you leave here. So I want to share that with you because if you have a child in your house and maybe Maybe you're trying to get your child to go to church. Um, you, was, I, you know, I talk to parents sometimes. Like I ask my child, they want to go to church. They really don't want to go. Who cares? 
Who cares what they want? Ask your child if they want to do work. They'll probably say no. Who cares? Your job is not to be their friend or to get or to have them give you happy faces. Your child is to raise up an adult. So decide what adult you want to raise up. There's a book I read. It's a secular book. It's called 12 Rules for Life by Jordan Peterson. And one of the rules is don't let your children grow up or do things that you dislike. Don't create children that you're going to dislike. Your goal is to raise that child, not to be their friend. So if you believe that, act, that physical activities are important, then, then make them do physical activities. If you believe that your faith is important, make sure you instill your faith in them. And if you want them to do some, an activity with you, you bring them with you. And if they disagree, they disagree, but they really don't have a choice. And if you have to have fun with it, tell them, hey, you're my slave till you're 21. You're my slave till you're 18. You're my slave while you leave, live in this house. I mean, it's a little exaggeration, but sometimes it's fun. Anyway, these are my boys and or my slaves. And uh, God bless you one and all. Have a fantastic weekend.